Hello YouTube yes, once again. Welcome to the depression. This is Discovery World Channel. Thank you for your subscribing to this channel and also your comment. I, I'm really happy for your contribution at from this channel. For some time now we have been on how you can design a free generator. We have discussed intensively on different methods you can adopt for you to design a good generator. And I receive a lot of comments from my subscriber, the course, how does it work and everything. And I'm happy I've always given an answer. And I also thank you for also trying to design uh, your own aspect, trying to see how you can push in. When I appreciate that. Now today I'm going to discuss on a very important issue because I have some questions people give to me which I know is important for you to answer. Somebody asked, how do I change my old a generator to a new one. How do you change a whole, a whole generator like this to a new one? So today I'm going to discuss how to turn 15 kilowatts generator to a new generator. How do you turn the generator like this to a new one? Because this is very important. It's not everybody has the money to buy a new generator. Some may go to the market and they will see bedroom type or old one. But they say no, I don't want old one, I want new one. But if you don't see new one, when you can turn the old one to new one. So what do you want to do? Because it is not the physical structure that the generator. It is the inner structure. And the inner structure can be worked upon to have what you need. So what I'm going to tell you today is how you can change this generator to a new one. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel because this is Discovery World Channel. We bring everything that you need to know about free generator to your business. So let's go on board and a practical form on how you can do it because we are going full practical now. This is a good example of what we are looking at. This is gener an old generator, very old at that. Now we are going to change it to a new one. How do we do it? Start. Now you fleet the what? The all the boat. Use what are you going to use? We are using a this thing. We are using let me go in. You are using carburetor cleaner. All this, what you see fleeting, is carburetor cleaner. Very easy to get in the market and very cheap. If you don't have carburetor cleaner, you can also use petrol. Petrol can also do the same work. Put petrol inside a container. Use a brush to just brush it out. The dirtiness will come out. So it's the same thing. But don't use water. Don't use water because. Water that's not always good with electronics. So they use water. Then right after that, what do you do next? You bring out your screwdriver. Start removing the screw. So let's go ahead. Remove all the screws from the generator so that you can able to have the inner structure of the generator. As you can see, the container of this one this is the meter. Then you remove out because this is a cable removing. You can see the bridge. This was caused by rats. Remove it out so that you have a free and clean this thing. Apply the capital cleaner. Then lose all the cables. So you want to see the inside 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 structure to see how it is. So we lose all the screw. Remove all the boat. Remove all the cables upper cables so that you have the inner so remove them disconnect them these are all this on or move them out so that you can have the inner structure Lose, lose everything here, lose everything here, lose everything here, remove 
the outer cover this and then disconnect it from the aluminium system that's all go like a resistor we'll disconnect it out completely from it so you can able to have a free operation so this is the meter out you can disconnect it out you can bring it back later after the operation then lose uh, this upper part of it lose it out You can discharge this because it's attached. You can, as you can see, you discharge it out completely, remove it completely from the structure. So you can have a free uh, this thing. We want to see the inner this inner structure. So we pull it out. Just don't worry, you can still wear it back. It's, you can still use spare up to wear it back. It's aluminium. This now, as you can see, this is remove the appearance that's inside the bearing because remember the appearance is what that is used in rotating the system because the bearing turn out rotate the structure so you remove the appearance out. Now, this is the appearance. This bearing is what that rotates the generator. It is a bearing that helps to rotate the generator so you have the right and the left bearing. So is always here so we remove it out this is it now so now what do we do now so you can replace the appearance if it's, if it's not dead then you remove the aperture it's connected from the aperture remember the aperture here is what has crashes here now aperture is connected to the core system that enable the generator to bring a current so this is the aperture it's being scratched here it's into scratch here so you, you disconnect it out and remove it completely out This is the pulley, remove it. You can, the pulley now, you can, if you don't want to buy a new one, put it inside foyer and all the dirty will come out from it. So you can put it inside foyer. As you put it inside foyer, the dirty, if the dirty of the pulley will come out. So you can remove it out. This is a fist, is a fist iron that enables the pulley to fist on this iron. So you move it out, unscrew this completely. When you unscrew the, the this air filter, to make air coming and come out as air filter system, then you remove this screw out completely. Now, so you can see, you disconnect it, remove it from the place, spray it out. You will see this, this is the rotator, and it's made of the bearings. Now, you can see, this is rotator. This rotator is make all the bearings, and inside it, there is what? This rotator make up of magnet, magnetos. These are magnets. And these are magnets that are bind with some. So, these magnets are put into this coil. I what enable current of generate. So when it rotates on speed, the current generate. So this one is a cooling fan to enable the coil not to burn. So because when it is not cooling, the coil is burn. See how it is? There's a bearing inside that enable the to rotate at maximum speed. That we call replication per So it rotates according to the speed which I like to generate. That we have the RPM. This, this is the appearance now. This is the appearance now. Now 
has the bearings as you can see that the bearings are moving then you just have to come out, out of it is the, that's with the washer the, the fan the original fan enable the heat not to burn the coil All this can be done with the circles and then what you do remove the hang is the use in hanging it's not much function you just the one connecting but you okay we're handling we don't do the cleaning of the the whole structure of the engine and then you can now remove all the debris inside this is the coil now see that this is the coil as you can see so when you remove all the debris out now you see the coil is here and the magnet clean it blow it out using the blower or you can use broom move everything as you can see fleet out the blower out so we are trying to transform it to a new one then you remove the outer color what I see now remove the outer color using a cleaner if you don't have this a cleaner you can use some paper some paper can also do the same thing use some paper to some paper if you don't have this machine we can use some paper for those of you now the machine you start about to remove it or the outer color so you can bring, bring a new color components should be removed the old color should be removed then we have a new color for it so just remove the old color so that you have a new spray that's exactly what is being done now so easy to do And where this put here, where this is, this just needs a fire port, put it here, weld it out, this aluminum welding, weld it out to tap it in so that the, the broken aspect will now be joined together. So you can see what exactly is done. Remember, this was broken, so you can use it, use a welding, aluminum welding to weld it out so that you have a problem, a problem solved. Out, find it out so you can spray it later. Then, this is what we are closing to clean. Can use fresh spray or you wish to to move the dirty of that place use brush brush it out so you can have a clean uh, neat what you want so you can see what we are doing use brush brush everything the iron everything so you have a good structure and leave it to dry when you do that after clean everything leave it to dry don't just leave that. It's not water. This is fuel. You don't use don't use water. Use water. You, you condemn it because water does not good with uh, anything electronic. So don't use water. So you can use fuel. Can do the work. Then we can clean it with fuel, and then after that leave it for drying. Leave it for some time. As you can see, it's been clean up every structure there, both in and outside. You can see now. Is dry. after drying it now for some time, then you spray it. You would just can spray it back. And I spray it back. That is a very simple way to do that. It's very simple. Just so it requires too much cost. It's the first spray color. When you spray the first spray, you leave it to dry also. For some then come and add the second spray. Yeah. yeah. Wow. 
Let's pray. Not to dry. Then you can also do it now. This the blue spray now. I will give you what you want. You see, with the first spray, to keep the pink out, it's gone. Then the second spray, and then this is the third spray. Then you can see the, you can see now the structure here. The third spray as the blue spray. So you can see it now to bring out the beauty of what you want. And then this is called is cover. As you can see the color color here is covered very well. So it will display will not affect it the same way here. Now we put the blue spray to it to give you what you want. This all this is to make you see to make you bring it to new. Then all uh, everything is perfectly done. You can see that everything is perfectly done. Then what you do now is to couple it back. You do the coupling. See, do everything. Whatever cable that is disconnected, do it back. Do some structure. If there's any connection, do the connection. And then you do the coupling. See after washing, everything you wish to select it is to take it, you blast the tape and then couple it back. The coupling now is going to can see it is going on fast and fast as possible. Everything couple it back to what's in place. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share this video to others. There's a this grease, you grease everywhere for so the parents will be able to run where it is back, put it inside where it was. It's exactly how you change the old it's how you change the old generator to the new one. Just very easy to do that. Then put the cover, the cover back as it was before. Put the cover back. And then you see that the old thing do what you want. Put the cables, the cables as a cover is put the cover, the screws, or everything shall be should be tight properly. As you can see, screw everything. This is the simplest way to change an old generator to turn it from old to new one. Do everything, or every structure should be properly screwed tight, firm. Tight and firm. This is also spray. You spray, spray it. You don't want to buy a new one, you can spray it and see the new back. Or uh, it's the easiest way to do it. You can spray it and you spray it back and put it put grease. It's a new grease. Grease the bearings after spraying it and then put it back to the cover. Back, everything is getting to a finishing. Tie it, screw it back. We still have a very new system without necessarily burdening yourself of buying a new one. With this, 
I have a new system. We just don't need to bring out the old one with this structure. I have a new system. You can see everything there is well figure, well structure. We screw everything. We bring out the meter again to connect the meter back. As you can see, everything is turning properly. Here is proper fish. So you can bring anything new. Then put the iron. This iron is used for poly. You hold the poly back. Put it back. Then bring the poly in. Yes. So the poly will be well fed. Alright. Then screw the board to hold it properly. So the poly will not pull out. That's correct. The air fitter, spare up the air fitter, or paint it, then put it back to, for the edge airway. I think this is very simple for you to do that. You can go over, please. Don't forget to share the video to others and also subscribe. Use the meter as you can put the meter back, then connect it properly just like the meter hang. And if you don't want, you can also buy a new one or you can console a new one. It's just simple. The only difference is the board. You can console a new board and put a new board there and screw it back. And then buy the resistor, put the sliders on, and connect your connection. So it's not as difficult. As you think, your connection, lock it back, make it straight, push the little, lock it back, just a little was removed, and sit now. Then this is the meter reader, I can see, you can buy the meter, this is it, and block. So it's not something like, yeah. Lock it back, the meter, then your connection. Cover back. Mm, little light. That's the way it's or split it, it or the same way. That's the way it or split it. I think it's the simplest way to do that. Then do the cover. Your cover. Everything is set. You can see everything becomes new. You don't need to go and buy a new one. The old one transforms into new one. Simple as that. As simple as that, you can transform an old generator to a new one in the best within a matter of minutes. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Share this video to your friends. Then record on. We are done. We are done. Screw it. Connect it. And everything is done. You can say now, everything becomes new. You save your course, everything is becoming new. So you can now see how you can transform the old.